First up, a visit to the home of poet William Wordsworth. He won't be in. He's dead. Hello! Hi. Hi! Katie Hale is a local poet, and does she know it? So, what's the crack are you then? Um, well, this is actually William Wordsworth's cottage, where he lived and wrote some of his poetry. So, do you want to go inside and take a look? What a lovely house! I'll buy it! I'll buy it! I mean, I wouldn't say I'm William Wordsworth's, like, biggest number one fan, but I do remember doing them for GCSE. Like, I didn't do them, but I, like, studied his work. This is Dove Cottage, where Wordsworth and his sister Dorothy lived for about eight and a half years. Some of his most famous poems that you might well have heard of are Daffodils, So I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud. If I die and I make my house into a museum, do not look in the bedside drawer. An expert guide is included in the price of a visit. And like our girls, you might be inspired to try your hand at writing a romantic masterpiece. Following in words with footsteps, I thought that what we would do is to choose something in the landscape to write about. The best thing to do is just let it all go. Let it all go. Let it all go. <laughs> I'm shaking myself oh. off. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. OK, go. We all remember Wordsworth's lines. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. What a load of rubbish. Come on, girls, you can do better. I think I'm done. Yeah? You go, <laughs> Oh, no, I feel like proper pressure, right? <clears throat> she said it was like free poetry, so we just had to write exactly what was on our minds. Trees, they proper green and give us oxygen, breaths, and I love breathing. I also like eating and I'm excited for food. Can't decide on coronation chicken or fish finger sandwich. Either way, hope it comes with chips. Honestly, we hadn't had dinner and all I could think about when she said, right, whatever you want, I just kept thinking about food. I also never understand evaporated milk. I mean, how is it even there if it's evaporated? Suppose they said it could never be done, but they said that about chicken Kievs. <laughs> I... I found it beautiful. Time for Rosie's Ode to Nature. Tree, green, tall woman, blonde woman, boobs, 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 Jodie Comer. Bravo. I think there's a really interesting use of repetition in that poem as well. Yeah. I think it really works in the poem's favour. <laughs> <laughs> you can see why words are what well, all those lovely poems. Because you do look around and you go, there's nothing else to do. Our girls check into their hotel and meet their new neighbours. That joke will make sense in a minute. Oh, my God. Welcome. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> we are spending the night with the horses. I love it. At Greenbank Farm in Grangeover Sands, for £250 per night, you can bed down in the company of a very friendly stallion but it's unlikely he'll call you in the morning. And after a day of glorious scenery, it turns out Rosie still has one more spectacular sight to marvel at. Oh, my God! He's having a wee! <laughs> Hello, there you go. I've organised some sweet to wheels. Get to what it is. Is it a mini? No. Older. Is it a Cadillac? Older. Is it this big train coming down here? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> it's only a bloody great traction engine. Right, you're driving. Rosie's in the back with the driver's son and Scarlett's at the wheel. I'm not allowed to drive a vehicle because of my issues. 
We're both right. This father-son operation will set you back £260 for a half-day course for two. How the hell did people afford that back in 1912? This is built in 1912. So it's 108 years old. Would you, uh, would you like to have a steer at all? Yeah, what do I do? All you have to do is just point in the direction of trouble and the engine will follow. I'm not a very confident driver at all. I have actually failed my driving test a few times, and by a few times, I mean 13. Oh, Who <laughs> thought it was a good idea to put me in charge of machinery that size? I do not know. A little bit left towards me. <laughs> 27 times it takes to turn one steering wheel. So if you want to go left, you've got to turn it 27 times. I was having to use arm muscles that I didn't even know I had. And she was just in the back having a whale of a time. I would have preferred to have been with the boy. How heavy is it? 12 tons. That's eight elephants. It is. No, it's not. <laughs> 